but uh, it's important for us to keep this historical city hall. Build your new uh, city hall wherever you uh, choose, but keep this one. This is what everybody is saying. Make this into a museum. I've pointed out the benefits of keeping uh, this and renting it. I'm sure there are young lawyers and other uh, business entities that would love to be able to say, hey, our offices are at City Hall, home of 911, and uh, use it uh, in uh, that respect. But y'all won't even entertain uh, anything uh, of uh, that nature. So I ask. I will continue to ask, and I will continue to try. I do want to give you something to think about. You say it costs a lot of money to bring this thing up uh, to code. Well, I question uh, the codes that you're trying to bring it up to, but I'll go along with uh, that. Thousands of dollars can be spent to do that. New building, that's millions of dollars that will have to be spent. All of these expenses are on the backs of the taxpayers. I'm a taxpayer. I'm old, I'm not gonna be here all that many years but I have a, a great-grandchild. I don't like the idea of my grandchild and great-grandchild uh, coming along and having to pay taxes on something that has been y'all's dream and y'all's plans that uh, it's going to have the wrong kind of impact on them. Preserve your community. This is the important thing. This has been pointed out from uh, day one in these communities that do have uh, the uh, ACEs of uh, title going by their name. If you want to see preservation, I suggest you go to Valley, Alabama. I went down there when I was in that uh, first uh, uh, workshop, and those people were so glad to see me, and they were so proud of their town. They took me everywhere, showing me all the things that they have uh, uh, saved, and it was uh, wonderful. Their old school is still there. Uh, they preserve that. They're still uh, using that for other things. They have an old lunchroom. It's being used. They have uh, old uh, textile mills. That was where so many of our sheets and our towels and things like that came from until uh, everything was shut down. But they kept their buildings. They uh, would show you their cemetery uh, there that has all this old rock. I think some of us would call it pebble rock because it uh, has a, a rock that's got little pebbles in it. Part of our cemetery up here has that. It was important enough to them for its preservation that they brought um, a craftsman in from another uh, state to help rework it, to preserve it. That's what it's about. This is history. These children, these grandchildren, these great-grandchildren, all of them need to be able to know that they can walk up these uh, steps, they can come in here, they can look. Hopefully you would choose to leave the old mayor's uh, pictures and everything here, but they can look at the history. They can look at this phone. They can read about it, and they can feel a sense of pride about what is uh, here and the role that so many play to help save lives. Think about it. 911, the code the world knows. You can't watch one TV program without them mentioning 911. It's important. It's the name, save the lives. And that's what we need to do, is to save the life of this building. I've offered before to try to help uh, with uh, fundraisers to do, excuse me, to do whatever it is necessary to preserve uh, this building. It's important to me, it's important to others out there. And again, if you go back and look at my old website, they can't sign on there for a new petition uh, or anything, but you can read the comments, and you haven't bothered to even uh, do that or even acknowledge it, but it is important. There's uh, several hundred people out there on different uh, uh, petition uh, sites that do care about this, and I mentioned to you several have traveled from other states here just to see it. One reason is this is where their job came from. And nobody stops to think about that. We go beyond the savings of lives. We go to the creation of jobs that helps to save these uh, lives. Thank you. Is there anyone else?